these are the parts that come with your Talaria pedal kit left side bracket, right side bracket, two zip ties to fix your side stand sensor, the spindle, the collar, washer, right side um, nut, other collar, other washer, left hand nut, pedals and cranks. If you order the pedals and the cranks, those are optional. Now we're going to remove the left side bracket so you need a five millimeter Allen wrench. So we remove the screws. Okay, here you have the the side stand sensor so first thing you need to do is remove the jam nut and then you need to turn the left side bracket do not turn the sensor cable because then you can snap it off and then you'll break the cables if for any reason it's hard to take off then what you can do is you get two nuts to be placed here and you do the nut and counter nut method so you can put two nuts here and then you start twisting um, until, or turning until you can loosen the side stand sensor because some customers um, have told us that the sensor it's it's stuck you can also use WD-40 but it sh you should be able to take it off anyway on my bike I don't have the sensor installed because sometimes when it gets it gets wet um, then it'll cut the power off so I have it off I don't have it installed on my bike Okay, now it's off. You can just leave it there and then we'll install it afterwards. First you can take your spindle and take the collar and slide the collar until the set screw is over the pre-drilled hole. Then you can just start Tightening, make sure you you put the set screw over the the hole. There you can see that the set screw is going in all the way. So you can do it on the left side. Next step is to remove the side stand from the side bracket. So what we're gonna do is First of all, you need to remove the nut that's placed right here, and then you can start by removing this screw. You'll need a six millimeter Allen wrench for this. So you can just remove the screw and then remove the spring. Now you need to remove this pin because we, we're going to need it to insert it in our power pedal kit. Now to install the side stand on the left side bracket, then you take your pin, this is the spring pin, and then you put it in as as far as you can then you use a spanner wrench try not to scratch the paint okay there you go okay 
now you take the side stand and put it here make sure the holes match then you put in the screw the screw that has a shoulder you continue putting the screw in Okay, not too tight so you can move the side stand easily for example this is a little bit too tight so I'm gonna loosen it a bit there we go then we put on the knot that goes on the back side and you can use a socket or a spanner wrench to tighten it down Now we're gonna put on the spring. To put on the spring, you need to put the shorter hook on the side bracket side. And then, what you can do is you get a screwdriver and then you use it to do some lever like this. Then you just take out the screwdriver and you have the spring installed. Now we are going to install the left side bracket with the side stand installed. So first we put it here and then we put the upper side screw just a little bit to hold it in place. Then we take the lower side screw, take blue Loctite medium strength oops that's too much we just need a little bit then we start putting in putting it in we use our five millimeter allen wrench okay then we take out this screw Put a little bit of blue Loctite, that's enough, more than enough I'd say, and then start putting the screw in. Remember, please start tightening with your hand so you don't damage the thread, and then we can tighten down both screws. And we have our side stand installed. Now to install the side stand sensor you should measure it here and see that the sensor is flushing against this this part of the side bracket. Then you need to move the nut so it will stay right in the middle there of the two grooves and that the sensor flush is here so it's more or less there and then you take these two zip ties and then you put one around not too much okay now you take the second one and put them through the grooves Okay, then you tighten them, make sure the sensor is flushing, and you tighten the zip ties, there we're good, then we cut both of them, and that's it, we have our sensor installed. Just in case you're not able to reach with the, with the cable, 
um, you need to reroute the cable you need to remove the bash guard and just in case you need to do so you may also cut some zip ties that are holding down the cable and then the cable will reach for sure and then you see the sensor is flushing against the side stand when the side stand is down now the bike can stand on its own with the side stand installed now we're gonna take off the right side bracket we take the, the screws off now you take your spindle with the collar on the left side only the flat spot should go on the right side so take the left side of the spindle with the collar and put it all the way through the bearing um, on the left side bracket then you put in the right side collar then you put in the right side bracket then you take your screws put on a little bit of oh too much of blue loctite I'm gonna use the excess to put it on the other screw so then we put on the upper screw and then we put on the lower screw and then we tighten down the bracket upper screw lower screw and we tighten down the screws next step is to tighten down the collar properly next step is to flush the collar against the side bracket so it, that will stop the spindle from moving in this direction so we need to find the pre-drilled hole which is there and then start tightening down the set screw until we have it tightened enough to stop the spindle from moving. So we can just finish tying it down here. And now we're all set. Now we put the right side crank on. These are the Cotopaxi cranks. And the right side you can uh, distinguish it because it has an R here then we put the crank on now we put the washer on now to fix the crank what you need to do is take your right side nut and put on a little bit of blue loctite there we go and then put it on the spindle since this is the right side this nut will tighten clockwise and we take the 14 millimeter socket and we tighten it down there we go now we take the pedal make sure the pedal says R here and we put the pedal on start please start the thread with your hand then take your six millimeter allen wrench and start tightening it down you can also use blue loctite on the pedals if you want to and then you can just in the pedal and then go to the left side and that's it we would be done now put on some blue loctite on the on the nut and remember this is a left hand nut so it will tighten counterclockwise 
Then we take our ratchet and start tightening it down. Okay, there we go. Now make sure the spindle has enough gap like the one here on both sides so your cranks won't um, scratch the side stand. Now we're going to install our pedal. The pedal also you need to check that it says L like here from the left side and then you put it on here and it will also tighten counterclockwise. This is to avoid the pedals and the left side knot loosening when you're pedaling. Okay, then we take again our six millimeter Allen wrench and start tightening down. Okay, there you go.